Hi, welcome to Behind the Badge. I'm Chief Alan Rodbelt of the City of Scottsdale Police Department. With me is Miss Chris Vassal. I love the Miss liaison. part. Hi, everybody. How are you today? How's it going? Good. Good. What, what are we up to? This is now April. Yes. Right. Season's kind of slowing down a little bit. It's been so cold. Yeah, it's been different and wet. And it's wet, been wet yeah. cold. I, I had 11 inches of snow at my house. Wow. Like a couple weeks ago, my tree broke in the front of my house, like yeah. in half. And that happened a lot up north. Oh and my and gosh, a little bit beyond it was the sea crazy. Limits too. Yeah. But it was fun. The kids had fun. So it's, kind of like it's different day. for Scottsdale. I yeah. think the last time that happened was 30 years ago. Wow. Cave Creek had yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Pretty amazing. So it was. Uh, we just got a little bit of dusting on the rooftops at the ranch and then across the street they got dumped on. So it was kind of nice for us. We yeah. got to look at it, see it, take Scottsdale pictures border. of it, and it didn't happen to <laughs> us. <laughs> it was great. Pretty funny. Yeah. So uh, a lot's going on. We're, we, yes. we're in the middle of, I get to this point, we're in the middle of Citizens Academy. How's yes. that going? Really good. Okay. Uh, great class as usual. Um, people are excited. They're they're happy to be there. So we're we're doing really well. It's almost over. Good. And then just for people who are interested, it starts up again in September. September. Okay. Yeah. And if you're interested, get the applications in because it does fill up quickly. Good. Good. Yeah. Anything else going on? No, not really. Okay. Just all the events that happened. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about that, and you know, baseball's here, and mm -hmm. you know, that's like a big deal for the city. So. That's what, gonna, that's, that's what we're going to talk about. That's what our show is about All right, tonight, absolutely. So, We've got yeah. some guests today, and we're going to talk a little about the baseball season that has just ended, uh, yes, spring training. Exactly. Lots going on, not just in the city of Scottsdale, but it's, a, it's almost a valley oh, event. Oh, my goodness, yes. Uh, you can come here and visit us, or you get, or even enjoy being a resident here and travel across the across the Phoenix area, area and attend any number of baseball games, see any number of baseball exactly. teams that you just wouldn't have yes. an opportunity to see. Or nearly as you did a lot of traveling. So yeah, and I cool. do feel sorry for people that have come from back east because, you know, they're coming to Arizona for the warm weather, but it was kind of cold in March, so hopefully it, it warmed up. That's why the I end. came. Yeah, it's like <laughs> they, they're out there with, like, short sleeves, and we're all there freezing yeah. with coats on, you know, so just it's pretty funny. It's, it's been 17 years for me, but I remember I was here before my wife, and she was packing the house while I was here, and it was winter time, and she was going to give away all the winter clothes. And I said, I called her and said, I was in the mall, and I said, don't get rid of the winter clothes just yet. Exactly. For some reason, they actually sell winter clothes here. Exactly. And now, of course, exactly. I bundle up at, uh, at 70. Know. The blood thins yes. quickly. Well, we have some special guests. We do. And I'm going to introduce the first one. That sounds uh, good. And Sergeant uh, Wes Schaefer of our, uh, and I don't even know what unit it is anymore because we move people around so I much think it's lately. Homeland Security, isn't it? Now you're no, I'm under traffic, actually. Uh, under traffic, yeah. Special yeah. events has moved under traffic. I think now. that's probably why so I can't find them. They yeah. keep moving them around. <laughs> I but try anyway. to hide from them as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we just, we, you not only are a special guest to us today, but you're a special guest for another reason. Do you know why? No, sir. Come on, Barry. You ready? Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. We don't have happy branches. Happy birthday. birthday. Oh, I know, yeah. Fire hazard. <laughs> you can't do that in here. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Wes. Wes. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you. The Thank first you. time ever on this program. We did that. You and did first. hopefully the last time ever with our singing <laughs> capabilities here. Luckily, no I mean, the lens on the camera broke. But anyway, uh, I have no idea what that even is. It's an apple pie. Oh, oh apple good. Pie. good. Good. I, I like apple pie. This be, is good. Probably this is more good. American. Yeah. <laughs> Look how red you're turning. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Did you schedule it this way just to get the cake or the pie? Is um, that, actually, the I did. You did? I went out of my Good way job. for this. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully this will be worth it. Good job. <laughs> it's, uh, we didn't give you, we tore the wrapper off. It probably had a sell-by date of the last yeah, century. No, but it is, and it's a good <laughs> apple pie. Pick it out. It's a good apple uh, pie. Anyway, welcome well, to the show. Thank you. American <clears throat> baseball. What a good tie-in. Look at that. Unbelievable. Gosh, I wish done. I thought of that. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, I'm going to let you introduce the guest, and then we're going to come well, back to you because I do want to know a little bit about your career and the position that you're in and, and what you do uh, for the city. So we'll, we'll come back to that. But please introduce your guest. Yeah, absolutely. Our guests. I want to take a minute to thank them because I know they're both busy, especially in the middle of the spring training stuff. But this is Stephanie. She's the manager of the stadium. And then this is Ryan. This is my main person I work with with the Giants. Welcome so. to both of you. Thank oh, you all for, for being here. Thanks for having today. us. And we do recognize the fact that this is probably a pretty busy day, which is I asked, is there a game today? <laughs> Just for purposes of, my goodness, you guys are going like, to want to run across the street. Uh, start with you, Stephanie. You, you've been a city employee for how long now? Yeah, I've actually been a city employee for 13 years okay. and nine of those years at the stadium. At the stadium. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, you did what? I worked in Parks and Recreation. Okay. Yeah, as an operations Very supervisor. Cool. And, mm -hmm. this, and this program is part of that department it does uh, it is it falls within our community services division so we are part of that that large division um, so it falls under that department yeah and, and so what's your background for this kind of work 
So really my background is in special events. Um, that's how I came to the city is with a special event background and that's how I started on with the Parks and Recreation Department. And then once the stadium position kind of came available, it was always something that really piqued my interest. So I applied for it and was able to take my special event background over to the stadium. That's great. And some of your duties include? Yeah, so I am the operations supervisor. So I oversee the facility as a whole. We're owned and operated by the city of Scottsdale. So I oversee all of the building maintenance, um, plumbers, electricians, cleaning, um, event staff, and operations basically as a whole. Um, and the Giants are one of our, I will call, event clients that come in. And so when they come in, they, they kind of take over the facility, but I make sure basically the nuts and bolts are, are there and ready for them. Thank you. And we'll come back and talk a little bit about it. I think there's some, some future plans or hopeful plans in the future to get, take more advantage of the fact that we have a stadium, great facility right in our downtown that, mm -hmm. that uh, you know, this, this particular month is really well used, but we know we can also increase the use of the stadium during the rest of the year. So Correct. we have some great plans for that. And we perhaps do. you can share some of those ideas with us. Absolutely. Sounds, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. So absolutely. you, you're like, working for the professional baseball league. I am. Yes. How cool is that? Uh, it has huh? a, it's, it's a job, but it also is fun. So. Yeah. So how yeah. long have you been doing this? Um, I've been with the Giants for 12 years. Okay. Uh, so I'm going into my 13th season this year. So um, back at home, my job is to manage all of the non-baseball events that we host at the ballpark. So I have okay. a great understanding of our stadium back at home um, and then have been able to translate that uh, to our operation here in Scottsdale. So, so I was going to yes, say. Yes, So you come and stay in Scottsdale for like during spring training then, and then go back. Yes. To so California. I come out for a few uh, times throughout the year just to make sure that everything is sort of heading in the right direction, and then I'll come out mid February and we'll stay through the end of March. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's, that's cool. cool. Let's make this more about me. So, <laughs> so I, I this may not work out for me this career. If I wanted to get into your field, what do I got to do? Because that sounds like a great right. job. Ah, yeah. um, <laughs> long nights, weekend work, um, so all like hours of the day. Job. Yeah. So yeah, as long I as qualify. you're okay with that, then I think you'll be just fine. I so. qualify. Now tell us a little bit about your background, yeah, seriously. What, what is your title? Um, so my title here in Scottsdale is Director of Spring Training Operations. So I help lead the business operations uh, of spring for our organization. We're working very closely with Stephanie uh, to make sure that the ballpark is up and running in the way that we need it to be for our team uh, and for our front office that comes down here. Uh, for the spring season, um, working with our ticket office, working with our media department, um, our baseball operations team, uh, and then we have a small stadium ops uh, team on site with us that, uh, again, works closely with Stephanie to make sure that things are running the way they run back at home. We want there to be as much consistency as possible with our policies pr procedures because a lot of them are our fans from San Francisco that come out here exactly. oh, after yes. the games. And very important to us. Yes. They light up the, down, the downtown. Yes. Uh, they uh, yeah. travel throughout the city in the restaurants, mm -hmm. and, and we, we just love hosting San Francisco folks we here. Do. It's actually one of my favorite cities. I had an opportunity to live there for a short while between oh, okay. between college and grad school looking for work and I love San Francisco. It's, it's a great cool. town. A and spot. you could always tell when there's baseball because all of a sudden you're like, wow, there's a lot of people walking around. There's a lot of traffic around here. Oh, the mm -hmm. one right. one's kind of busy. We're orange and black. <laughs> it's like, Holy. That's the all yeah. orange it's and black. Like, oh yeah, time, <laughs> the flags are out. Yeah. It's like, woohoo, it's baseball, yeah. we're into spring. Yeah, lots of energy. So. And, and it's energy that goes on, quite frankly, all day, which is mm -hmm. really wonderful. It is, it's yeah. fun. So, so um, where are you from originally? From San Francisco? No, I'm actually from Southern California. Okay. I grew up rooting for a very different team than the <laughs> one I work for now. Um, but I like to say as soon as I became a free-thinking adult, then oh, my okay. allegiance is now live with the Giants. Oh, <laughs> cool. Smart Good move. job. We'll Good underline job. that if it does any kind of closed captioning. Uh -huh. Anyway, very cool. Thank you. So, uh, Wes, your, your responsibility around the stadium and during the season involves what? So I meet with them, like you were saying, boss, way before the spring training starts. We talk about security concerns, if there's any. We meet with the other Valley agencies, if there's concerns at other stadiums about players that come to certain spots. Um, when if there's any unruly fans or any fans that threatened or anything else, I'm briefed on it or I brief the Giants on it. Um, and then we, I handle the staffing piece, of course, where we're there policing and doing all the staffing for the games. Um, if there's any issues that I need to bring to the Giants' attention, I bring to Ryan or other members of her staff. If there's a concern they have, they bring it directly to me, um, and I disseminate it as needed. We also deal with the rideshare piece with Lyft and Uber, um, which I meet with the 
st uh, both Stephanie and Ryan on regards to, okay, this is how we're gonna set up the stop and drop, um, vehicles, uh, things like that. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty t um, long process, it takes a couple months, so it's a lot of fun, of course, when I've, we have the open going as well, mm -hmm. Barrett Jacks and all that <coughs> fun stuff. So, but it's, I, I have a great working relationship with them, they're both great to work with. Um, couldn't ask for a better team from, from the police perspective. Yeah, I do, I do want to emphasize that when people see this program, they don't think, Wes, that you're solely involved with this particular month of activity. And right. it starts and begins when the first pitch is thrown and ends when you all you know, are done with the last game. Uh, there's a lot of lead time before mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you are also coordinating every other major event in the city of Scottsdale. And, and of course, we don't have a lot of experience with major events. Oh, you know, we do. We have none at all. So, <laughs> so, we do. Yeah, we do. I mean, 9.1 million visitors, Super last bad. estimate I heard, that people come into our, into our city to enjoy themselves. And so you've got all the responsibility to make sure all of those are well coordinated with, with, with the parties involved that are, that are running those programs, as well as providing public safety. Uh, and, and we know it goes from the beginning of the day all the way to the next morning uh, in many of those, in many of those um, uh, activities. So, so it's a huge, huge endeavor. And you have to make sure it's all well staffed. So a sure. baseball game requires how much staffing level ordinarily? Uh, probably I would say around 20. Um, okay. That includes the outside traffic to ensure all the citizens get into the uh, stadium okay. Um, then we have the inside security, which are covering the vendor gates. Um, and then we have various rovers throughout the uh, stadium for that stuff to deal with any calls that come up. And from and that, then, oh. sorry, go ahead, no, go ahead. No, and then we have, we partner with the fire department as well in there for right. any issues and that come up to deal with I'm that. I'm sure you all have yeah. security as well. So it's a coordinated right. effort. Yeah. Plus, uh, while Chief was speaking to you, uh, Sarge, about the uh, events from January to April, uh, we also deal with a lot of federal partners as well. Correct. Correct. The FBI, the right. Secret Service, you know, whatever, the ATF, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of coordination federally as well as state and local. Yes. So the, the federal and state, of course, they're involved with all the spring training facilities mm -hmm. uh, in, in the uh, Metro Phoenix area. So for us, that's like, and the, some of those meetings beforehand, we meet with all our federal partners, like you're saying. Uh, so if we have an issue at our stadium, we can pass it on to a stadium in the West Valley or vice versa. They can pass something on to us for for that part of it. And then we do have various federal partners walking through the games. Yes, um, exactly. In every stadium. It's not just exactly. ours, but yeah. Super. And so what are the average size crowds we have in our stadium per game? We average over the season about 10,000 people per, per game. game. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a lot of people. It is a lot, lot of people. It's a lot of, lot of cars, a lot of, lot of conveyances, a lot of, lot of uh, traffic, a lot of moving parts. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Pretty I amazing. Yeah, and it, and to Wes's point to um, safety of our fans doesn't start just when they hit, hit our gates. We talk about how are they going to get to the game, how are they going to arrive to the stadium. We do temporary walkways to mm -hmm. get them across Drinkwater and Osborne <coughs> safely. So there's a lot of pieces that go into our conversations. It's not just about when they hit the green gates and enter the ballpark. It's it's making sure they get to the ballpark safely as well. And PD plays a huge role in that. And this year, I, you know, the citizens might know this. This year we have a little bit of a setback with a couple of our bridges mm -hmm. in the city. And I know yeah. that one bridge is, was critical uh, to a lot of people in terms of getting to the stadium, parking, getting to the stadium. And I don't know if, it, if you've seen an impact on that or not. Have we kind of mitigated all those issues? We've, well, what we've done is all the rideshare traffic and mm -hmm. everything else, we basically push them down to 2nd Street and then they flow into the downtown area of Scottsdale Road. Mm -hmm. We actually this year put an officer in the TMC, our traffic management center, to help manage the traffic flow on the weekends and then the TMC during the week is listening and we're partnering with them to ensure we get all the traffic in and out as fast as we can. So Excellent. That's good to hear. And to be honest with you, I've not received any complaints. Yeah, so, it, so it must be working really well. People figure it out when they want to get to a baseball game, they're getting there. <laughs> and there was also another unique uh, spin with the bridge closure this year. So the Giants host a, a road race um, in mm, San Francisco, yes. in Scottsdale, and a couple of other our affiliate cities. Um, so that uh, Drinkwater Pass uh, required us to reroute our race. Uh, and Wes and his team were instrumental in helping us come up with a creative way to route a couple thousand runners. Um, the morning before one of our games, and it went off flawlessly, and uh, great. so yeah, we had great feedback from our racers that day. Cool. Great. And, and that's the raised funds for charities, is it not? Uh, it does, yes. Yeah. So we work with a couple of uh, charities uh, back home in San Francisco that benefit from uh, the fundraising efforts for those those Very racing cool. series. Very do, cool. do you have a feel for how many people uh, travel here that actually attend the games, as opposed to people that live here? Um, 
I, very generally, yes, but I think it's more of 75% of our crowd is, yeah. is traveling Local. from, um, traveling, traveling from, from um, yeah. out of state. That and so for both games, really, because if it's the Cubs or if it's whatever, because you have a lot of Cubs fans that come here, a lot of the other yeah. Diamondbacks are here, but mm -hmm. you have local groups from them. Um, but the one thing that I think that's so great about Scottsdale Stadium is the history. Because mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of really beautiful, huge stadiums, but yeah. what's so cool about Scottsdale Stadium is the history back from 1960s. And although it's been modernized several mm -hmm. times, it still holds that kind of charm of going to an old, you know, old baseball game. Like a Absolutely. And that's, a, that's been a huge consideration for us as these other teams are building these big, beautiful ballparks that are sort of a little bit far out from yes. um, where the crowds are. And that's why we love Scottsdale Stadium. It is in the heart of the city. Um, and it just it, there's so much nostalgia and there's so much history there that means a lot to, to our organization uh, and our team, which is why we, we love, we've sort of hunkered down and why we're mm -hmm. hopefully making some changes that are going to benefit our team but allow us to, to stay where we ultimately want to be. Great. We hope That's so. Great. We love the partnership. We yeah. love having you here. It is. So in terms of the Valley area, though, do you know how many teams there are in the Valley? In there's, 15 there's 15 teams in the Cactus teams. Lake. Mm -hmm. And how many stadiums? Because some share. You're going to make me... Pull it's that okay. number out. I think it's eight or nine. Okay. I don't know that exactly. That's <laughs> good enough. Yeah. It's eight that's or nine, but there close. are several that eight or nine. Share, yes. And it might be what's mm -hmm. interesting to some of our, some of our mm -hmm. viewers might be the fact that they don't necessarily take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they just see people here. Uh, I don't know that they go, may travel to another city to go to a different stadium. Uh, they may make a night out at their local stadium. But the opportunity for someone who is, in fact, a baseball lover, where do you get, other than Florida, where would you ever get an opportunity to see 15 teams, right. you know, eight different locations, mm -hmm. so close, How exciting. reasonably priced, uh, to be able to go out and watch mm -hmm. professional right. baseball? Even though we know this is, there's, this is tryouts for some folks, the pros are still here playing, exactly. uh, still getting warmed up, the pitchers are still doing what pitchers need to do to get, get in shape. Uh, it's really exciting time for people that are really are into baseball. I know some people have wish lists that they're going to, before they die, they want to drive to every stadium mm -hmm. and every city, and then, right? Yeah, across and, and the country. Across mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. People actually have that mm -hmm. as a wish list. Well, here Absolutely. you can kind of like, in a very short period of time, one month, you could do See 15 teams, teams exactly. which, is pretty, cool. which is pretty amazing. Not in the stadium, they're in their home stadium, but you're seeing the teams. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful opportunity that mm -hmm. we have to offer here. Mm -hmm. And obviously, people come and travel from great distances to partake. So. We do. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah There's some plans for the future. There is. Can you share those with us? I sure. know, I know not, <laughs> not everything's been approved when you right. tell people. Not been approved, but there's been some discussions about updating the stadium a little bit, getting more use out of it, making mm -hmm. it, I guess, more uh, available uh, outside of the, just the, the, what the Giants may be using it for the time period that you're here. Yeah. Can you share some of those ideas? Sure. So it's multifaceted. Um, obviously, the, the number one thing we'll start with is, is the Giants' needs and making sure that we build a clubhouse facility that suits their needs so right. that player development can do what they need to do because they are coming down here to develop their team and get the ready for the season. So that's the first piece of the construction project. The second piece of the construction project is going to be a multi-use event center. So what's exciting about that is it's going to be the largest downtown, old town, Scottsdale location to hold indoor events. Um, so we're excited to take that on and welcome new and existing events into Old Town Scottsdale because as Ryan said um, a little bit, that's, that's the reason that people come to Scottsdale Stadium is because of everything that surrounds it. Um, you can go out to a restaurant and have a drink or a nice dinner and then come to the ballpark and the same thing is going to take effect for our events as well and people are going to want that kind of downtown feeling. So, so, you're not, so you're, cool. you're not putting a roof on, right? So no, <laughs> no, no. The event center is going to be part of the new clubhouse building. Okay. So no roof over the existing <laughs> stadium. Um, but it's, it's going to pair really nicely. It's going to be tucked between both of our fields. So it will have access to the practice field, the stadium field, the main concourse. It's going to kind of tie everything together. That is awesome. And it's, I think, so long overdue. And I think it's uh, everybody's been clamoring for that for quite some time. I, you know, uh, they do like to come to Scottsdale for that. And it is, like we said when we started the show, was you see the excitement downtown and people walking around with their, you know, their, their jerseys on and their hats. And everybody's happy. And it's just everything is so close. It's not so far away like mm -hmm. in the other mega stadiums where mm -hmm. you really have to drive someplace or if, if there's not a lot right w where the stadium is. So I think it's great. I'm yeah, excited. and all of our conversations through the, con the design project have really been to keep it 
keep it small and keep it intimate because that's the character that people come to Scottsdale Stadium for. It's very much what they have in San Francisco mm -hmm. um, with the park up there. So we kept that in mind as we went through the design phase as well, not to make it, you know, step Legacy too park, far yeah. out of the quaintness that is Scottsdale Stadium. Yeah. So okay. I think we've done a good job of that. Yeah. Super, we're yeah, excited this, about it. The design is a good job. So is there someplace I can see this design? Or is this, <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't gotten the final approvals yet? Or we're not where, quite where are we there at? yet. Where are we at? We're us. not quite there yet. It goes to council <clears throat> very soon to get its okay. uh, council stamp of approval on the project. And as soon as we get that, then we'll be sharing the design That's much great. more freely. Cool. Yeah. Wonderful. It's pretty exciting times. It so, is. Wes, uh, what, uh, it, it, this isn't just obviously this month. Obviously, there's planning, preparation, and there's probably some aftermath where you guys actually talk about what to do next year. Uh, so, what, are there things we're seeing already that we need to talk about in terms of how we can provide better service? Well, the bridge needs to be open. That's, yeah. that, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the bridge so, needs yes, to be the open. Big, the big thing yeah. that they would like to see is the bridge open so we the can bridge open. Giant space without any all issues like next year. But that was a safety issue, too. So people need to know that they just didn't right. want to repair the bridge Correct. all of a sudden and decide in the middle of baseball season or a high peak season to do something with the bridge. There was some fault found right. on the bridge. And right. so it was H. for the safety of, the, of right. the citizenry. That's why the bridge is closed. It wasn't because we wanted to remodel it in the middle of our event season. <laughs> but um, but go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so far this year, uh, we've it's been very smooth. We've really had no issues um, on the from our end that we need to go back for for uh, talk to the Giants or the stadium about. So we've been very fortunate. Um, we've been doing this for how long now? We have this. Uh, I've got I think after five years, boss. I think I kind of got <laughs> it locked in a little bit. But um, yeah, it's it's been great this year. Um, so when we do go back, if they have some things they want to bring back to my to me or my attention or. If I need something I need to bring back to them that's in the last five or six games, uh, I'll definitely bring that to them. Um, but like I was saying, we have a great relationship, so she's not afraid to like tell me anything, and I'm not afraid to tell her. It's very open communication um, that I have with both Stephanie and Ryan. So That's good. Very good. Partnerships so, yeah. are important, oh, right? Yeah, I mean, we talk about that all the time, and that's why we're having you on the show, because without our partners we wouldn't be able to be as successful as we are so we thank you guys for being so great to work with and everything as well that's awesome Absolutely. a lot of cities don't have that no kind of collaboration and partnerships so we're very yeah. fortunate so next for you is you you at when season's over you head home yes yeah, so season ends i immediately uh head back home and then get ready for our opening day in san francisco which is just um a week less than two weeks um okay. from the the last game here um and then get ready for a grueling six hopefully seven months of baseball ahead of us <laughs> <laughs> you like baseball hope. don't you yeah. Ryan? love baseball yeah. okay yeah. cool yes it is always the hope that the season lasts longer yes than shorter right yes there's there you get to the end of the season we we do it to make the playoffs but there's always that like oh, i'm exhausted but just keep pushing it and then you somehow find this extra bank of energy for playoff baseball which comes out of nowhere um, but we've well, yeah. been extremely uh, successful as as a club. Yes. I mean, there's no doubt about that, and we've been really proud to be part of that. I, I mm -hmm. think one of the more exciting times I've had at the stadium is when you bring the World Series trophy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. home to us, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. And share and share that That's excitement cool. with us. That's really even cool. Even though yeah. even though we're not uh, you know in California, we've always felt a part of that. You've always been willing to bring that and kind of help us. Uh, yeah. We're like the Enjoy vacation it. home. Yeah. 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 Okay. You, like, you know how you have a second home up in the mountains? Oh, yeah. or they have a second home in the valley. Right. So yeah. it's fun. Well, and that's one of the reasons why I love our organization so much is that we, anyone that we are affiliated with, we do make them feel like family. Um, and so you, everything that you do here for us, you are certainly part of our family and contribute to the success of our team. So yeah. We love you. having you guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for all you do to make this work. I mean, yeah. a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving parts. We want our citizens to recognize the fact that it takes this kind of a team to pull that together and make it look as, as simple as it looks. I mean, I think people go, they enjoy, they have a good time, they walk away, and they don't even think about what's happening behind the scenes <laughs> yes. to make this happen. Exactly. And, and all the pressure that's up upon the three of you and the people that work with you uh, to make this come together. And we want you to know how much we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We wanted to share that because I think we are very good at special events in the city, and, and your your special events last a little longer than yes. most. <laughs> but we're really good with special events in the city, and I think people just take it for granted. I think sometimes we make it look so easy, mm -hmm. uh, but that's really the attraction because people they can come, they can relax, they can enjoy, and they can be safe. Yes. And and uh, and you offer great family 
uh, very, a very great family safe atmosphere. Mm -hmm. yes. and, uh, and Not too many of those that. lately, so it's kind of nice to have family events that you can bring your kids to and have a great yeah. time with, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Like they're getting smaller and shorter in between, but um, it is, we're not Disneyland, but second yes. <laughs> <laughs> And you, congratulations in new position. This is your first year going through with a new position, right? Second, oh, second, second spring season. in this position. Oh, okay. Yeah. You said yep. a year, so I thought maybe you had just started Yeah, now, I started in, in my current role at February 5th of last oh, year. And you're a veteran. So right, <laughs> <laughs> right at the beginning of, of our season over there, so. Okay. It's great. Well, thank you it's so great. much. Thank and Wes, again, happy birthday. We promise our viewers will never ha have another guest <laughs> on their birthday. That was your, <laughs> this was the first time in all the years we've done this. I can't yeah. wait to call your mom and tell her because I know his mom and dad very well. And they're You're going to call people. Wes's mom. I am because <laughs> Wes's, Wes's, I'm Wes's, Wes's, I'm right again. Yeah. Wes's mom, I want to yeah. just give a little history. Yeah. Wes's mom, Beverly, I love you, Beverly. She was my SIPAS treasurer. She went yes, through Citizens Academy. Right. And actually, his dad went through Citizens Academy. And I'm not going to tell you how many years ago, but they <laughs> did. He was very young. He wasn't even a policeman then. You want to so squeeze his cheek. I what? just do. <laughs> and I tell Beverly all the time, I will <laughs> hug him for you. Don't I tell her that, Beverly? Yeah, we're so, so fortunate that we're now in HD yeah, and yes. Technicolor, and we're going to get this it's picture. It's just a really Your bad sunburn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is baseball season. That's it true. It is baseball. Anyway, so th thank happy you birthday. Guys. Many, thank you many for more. Us. Thank, thank you, you all for very much us. for being part of our, our program and also being part of our city. Thank you, both. Thank you all. And that pretty much concludes this month's Another episode month. of Behind the Badge. <sighs> Getting older by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> One month after another. We'll be talking Christmas soon enough. Wait, oh, my goodness. Just please. Christmas weather outside. Yes, exactly. Anyway, thanks for being with us. We look forward to seeing you next month. Until then, be safe. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye. Bye.